we have SOH and Chaos doing work here. Um, so let's take a look at what we have for teams uh, for both these players. What's we saw that SOH just clobber uh, the the padding that Leif Erickson had in his round, but uh, he burned through Ottawa. Did Leif Erickson? And now SOH with a comfortable lead. Surprising he's taking Philly unless he's used all his bottom teams. I'm also surprised. I don't believe he's used his bottom teams as of yet. Chaos looking like he got the memo using one of his last expansion teams. I know he burned two of them against me. He may have also burned another one or two along the way. Is there any chance he can put Chaos out with this kind of mismatch? You know, after what we saw in that last matchup, it's not out of the question. Chaos is at a plus one. He's got a 12-goal buffer. So if we get the same result as last game, we may be on upset alert here, and Chaos could be on the verge. But right, Perry Bears and to Rob Goudreau, and it's a one nothing game, uh, Chaos. So um, maybe there's more to it. Maybe SOH is concerned the other way. Possibly. Uh, Chaos, he's a, very, he's a very good player. He's been using his expansion teams. He knows how to use them appropriately and plays decent defense as well. So if he can limit Philly's breakaways. Should be okay. Urbe turns away that Kevin Deneen Deke, Pat Falloon, to Berizan, the former Minnesota North Star. And here comes Mr. Bucketless. Doug Wilson having to wear it anyway because uh, they don't have those individual sprites. But they can now, in NHL 94 Rewind, uh, distinguish uh, color of skin. So that's a neat ad. Uh, Pat Falloon. Loses it. Berzan can't knock down Recky. Excuse me, not Recky, but rather Eklund. And Yuskevich puts one on, and he slips past Archis Erbe. And it's 1-1. And sorry that I didn't have the screen big enough for you there, buddy. It's all right. That's a bit of a trickler there by SOH. Similar to that, that butt goal that McTavish scored last game. Just, you know, another trickler for him. So, got a tie game here in Philly. Foot pass by Falloon, and now Deneen is loose and gets the short side against Zerbe. It's 2-1, and momentum going Philadelphia's way right now. Certainly, that's the recipe for success here. Deneen, no one can really check him on San Jose, so if he gets ahead of steam like that without a lot of pressure, he can cause problems. And nice pass to Berezin. Goudreau tries to get a follow-up shot, but don't go. And now, Pell Eklund with a breakaway. This way, one is turned away by Zerbe. And now a penalty against San Jose. Yuskevich puts a backhand shot kind of weak there. Um, and it's turned away. Perry Bears is going to go into the box. See who ends up in the lineup, if there's any change there. Should be John Carter. That's 20 John Carter. That is who he is. Wilkinson with a nice check to turn away Deneen. And Deneen gets the foot back to Eklund. Deneen with another follow-up. Irby with two great stops there. And Dougie Wilson loses it to Deneen. Loose puck. And taken down by Deneen. The weight's coming into play here. And speed. Deneen with another shot. Just an onslaught of offense. Time ticking away here in the first period. 2-1 your score, but it feels like it could be a lot worse right now. It could be. Chaos had a nice start getting the first goal, but SOH getting his bearings here, putting a lot of pressure on. But we see the difference between the type of goalie Archer's Urbe is and Sidorkovic for Ottawa. It's just, you, you can actually maybe get a save out of Urbe. Yuskevich being patient. There's the pass. One timer to Recky, and it's a power play goal. Second apple from Yuskevich. It's 3 1. Indeed, SOH very patient there with the stop up, waiting for the defender to skate out of the passing lane, and then he feeds Recky for the uh, clinical one-timer. Rob Goudreau can't get the face-off win and the one-timer to need Nice manual goal and getting across the crease by Chaos. Rob Goudreau trying to force it in and Deneen the other way. Dougie Wilson trying to stop a one-timer attempt to Pell Eklund doesn't lead to anything. It's a little delayed behind the back of the net. Eklund takes it back into the zone after it was originally cleared. Recky bounces right off of Irby and gets his second goal and Eklund with a second assist it's 4-1 Chaos came out to challenge with the goalie at the top of his crease and SOH again displaying some patience and skating that puck to the far post before unleashing the shot the Flune pass to Goudreau 
Knocked down, picked up by Barrison, and now the other way. Here comes Mark Recchi, and it's a hat trick, and the Kevin Indeed assist. That happened very quickly. It's 5-1. Indeed, another bang-bang set of goals here for SOH. Another floater. We've seen those from him several times these last couple games. And Chaos better be careful here. I'll let this get away from him. EA special attempt. Goudreau trying to go beat Soderstrom. And the pass shot attempt to go between the pads there. Five hole didn't work. Barrison's pass to Faloon on the wing. Loses it. Stick or poke check by Yuskevich. Yuskevich with a couple assists already. Deneen on the wing is beating everyone. Puts a shot on, and now we have a penalty on San Jose. Neil Wilkinson will go in for two minutes. Yeah, Deneen just looks like an absolute weapon out there, almost Klima-esque. If he had a little bit better of a shot, you know, this would really change the dynamic of this matchup. Barrison loses it. Goudreau scoops it up. Takes the zone, and there's an opportunity. Tries to go short side. Soderstrom on his belly, now back on. His skates... Recky tries to put a floater on net. Barrison poke checks it away, but now Deneen the other way. Urbe can't get the rebound, and it's a second goal. Power play goal to Deneen, and Eklund with the assist is third apple. It's 6 1. Deneen showing his crafty veteranship, just hacking away there at Urbe. Second chances, finally gets one in. And a floater. Recky unassisted right off the face off. It's 7 1. More floaters, more goals. More big leads here for SOH. This is scary stuff here for Chaos. He's got to really find a way to get back in this. Goudreau trying to go short side. Look like it had a chance, and now Irby out of position, and now Deneen with the hat trick. Third assist from Recky, fourth assist from Eklund. It's 8 1. Yeah, that whole forward line is just getting in on the action, just really racking up the points here tonight. Pat Falloon on the wing, trying to feed it to Berezin. I'm guessing he was probably going for Goudreau. And the breakaway goal almost made a 9-1, but Urbe is able to stack the pads and turn it away. Welcome to the third period. Yeah, welcome to the third period that all of a sudden has a lot more excitement about it than it did earlier in this game. Chaos, you know, he's got to keep this within four or five more goals. Yuskevich takes the zone, feeds it to Reki. The Sharks are just slow, not able to keep up with the speed on the ice right now. And the checking is an issue right now as well. Bear is in. Intercepts the puck to Goudreau. To Falloon. Goes behind the net. Buying time. Trying to feed a wing shot. Intercepted by Philly. Eklund is knocked down by Falloon. Is, excuse, Perry Bear is in. Unable to handle it. Now across. Man, a lot of passing. Crisp passing from SOH. But uh, now the... The goal taken, excuse me, the puck taken by the Sharks and now intercepted by Deneen, who has a breakaway. Goudreau stick shot, excuse me, stick check. Wilkinson the other way. Wilkinson to Goudreau. Loose puck to Soderstrom, and now we have a potential breakaway for Recky. Feeds it, tried to feed Deneen. Too sharp of an angle. Flew in the other way trying to find anyone to set up in front of the net and it's just the offensive awareness is not down in here for the Sharks and Irbe takes himself right out of net he had the rebound it was in good position and KS must have been anticipating something else because uh, they made that a little too easy for him 9-1 certainly that was a funky rebound SOH taking advantage and I actually misread Chaos's goal differential he was a negative one so he had a 10 goal buffer so he's got to keep stay on the horse here but okay that looks good here Unassisted Rob Goudreau with the just slapper right past the glove side of Soderstrom, and it's 9-2. Yeah, that may be enough to move Chaos into the next round, provided he can uh, put some defense up against this onslaught from Philly. And floater over the the goal over Urbe. A little bit of a stutter here. Wilson loses it. Iskevich is there, puts it on Urbe. 20 seconds remaining here in the third period and another chance there for Philly and another turnover my goodness that just every time the pass comes out off the stick of the Sharks you think what's is that another goal in the making uh, but uh, this one's over 9-2 in favor of SOH so what does that do for the standings here so SOH I think has entrenched his 
uh, number one seed moving into the next group. Number one seed doesn't really do a whole lot for you as it's just the top six moving on to the next group into another group. Um, Chaos survives uh, with a negative seven goal differential here, bringing him to negative eight, which is two better than what he needed to be to move on to the next round. So both players looking to move on and Chaos with the added benefit of taking San Jose off this list. All right, well, I uh, don't know if we're going to have another one yet. Uh, it would be probably one more at, at, at the most. Uh, but if we do, we'll be up on uh, just a few minutes. So uh, for Angry Jay, this is Trojan. Thanks for watching tonight, and uh, stay tuned.